welcome back in this video we'll be looking at the third question which is the function produit that's product multiplication in this case I'm multiplying two variables x and y and x here is equal to 1 because we're having x and y so x is equal to 1 and so x is equal to 1 and so it will make us we are going to come back i bring this back again since x is equal to 1 we are going to use this method of x0 and xy plus 1 because x is equal to 1 we have just 1x so using that method again so I'll say par la règle de récursion on a in this case our function is function multiplication so we have x0 and this is x times 0 which will give us 0 so this is j the x now we might be like okay so what is our g of x yes it's 0 okay but we can't say it's a constant because the only time we can say it's a constant is if we don't even have x at all that's in this case where we have just f of 0 equal to a constant that's when g can be a constant but in this case we already have x so it can't be a we can't say because it's 0 here it's a constant we already have x which is there already so instead remember when we discussed from our base functions the the z that's the function identiquement nul nul that it gives us like the zero so in this case that's what it's going to be it's going to be because we already have a function x and we we don't we're not using the second condition where it can be a constant and so in this case it will be equal to z we'll be using the base function that is zero instead which will give us z so this will be equal to z And so our g of x is equal to 0, which is equal to z. And so that's the first part, which is already primitive recursive, because it's a base function. Now, secondly, x of y plus 1. So we're going to multiply x and y plus 1. So we multiply x times y plus 1. So we know when we have this in brackets. So this is the same thing as x times y plus x. So it's the same thing as x, y plus x. Now, let's look at this closely and discuss. If you look at this, you would notice that we have plus. Plus is primitive recursive. We've already calculated it x and y is the product x and y which is here is the question that we are dealing with which is here and is the question that we are dealing with and so what are we going to have we're going to bring back our h we're going to bring back our h and bringing back our h we know we'll have h is equal to x in this case, our, our function is multiplication, x, y, and y. So I guess if you can see this. So x, we already have our x here. The multiplication of x and y is this definition. Just I want us to see this clearly. Is this definition right here x times y x times y is this and we have x times y and we have this so it's calling the function again okay so it's calling the function again and so and we have plus as well 
so this will be equal to plus okay of x y and x because it means x y plus x and we have we can now project them from here from our h and so this will be equal to plus we have x y our x y is the product which is this because if you see here is this is equal to this from the question so so we'll have p de trois because we have three and this is found in the second one our x y so we are going to have p de trois and so it will be p de trois of x x y and y comma remember we are not done yet because we also have x which we have to bring from this projection which is the first projection so it's p1 of the three here this will be p13 of x x y and y then close our bracket so we can bring out our projection outside so we have p de 3 p and 3 and this x x y y okay so finally we can we now know what our h is remember this is where h is and so this is going to be our h because what follows it is the same thing okay so we we know our h and we can put it down so now this function also if you can see is also primitive recursive because first z is a base function and a base function is already primitive recursive and secondly we are having projection p de 3 and p and 3 which is yeah, it's also a base function projection so it's primitive recursive and then finally sum we already proved in our previous question that sum is primitive recursive and so constructed from the second definition of primitive third, second definition of primitive recursive you can construct a function can be primitive recursive if if you find another function primitive recursive in that function while calculating and here we got to we found plus which is primitive recursive so it's primitive recursive so one is primitive recursive two is primitive recursive and so the function prodwe is primitive recursive so this function is composed so now we are doing composition already the composition this function is composed of functions that are already primitive recursive and so it is primitive recursive so you see when you understand you get to just play around it that way and hopefully i hope we've been able to get uh, many ideas from this so finally i can say that my function prodwe recursive you know it's recursive of g and h and our g here is z and our h is this so that means that our function produce a primitive recursive so thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed please click on the subscribe button below and if this video has helped you as well as the other videos you can click on the like button as well you also find in the, um, the links to other videos on my channel in the description below and most importantly which is my number one priority of doing this tutorial is i want to reach out to those people that offer courses like this and these topics this topics that we are treating the courses that we are doing are courses that most students in their first year find um a bit when i say difficult but we like kind of struggle with it at the beginning so that's why this tutorial is here for those people so if you know anyone doing courses like this math informatics estate 
SM here in the uh, here you can you can also share with them as well so that they will get to benefit from this as well because that's the that's the aim of this tutorial and as well as uh it doesn't have to also be in Algeria you can also share to those in Morocco and if possible those in Egypt and I'll try as much as possible hopefully I'll be uploading videos at most every two days so that means I can be uploading every day yeah but at most two days and it follows a uh, timetable so for this period we've been treating programmation functional when we are done with the session for programmation functional we'll be doing analyse as mathematics the topics that are concerned in mathematics for the second semester so don't forget to click the subscribe button don't forget to like if it has helped you and don't forget to share with those that would also benefit from this as well so thank you for watching and see you in the next video